In light of recent events, I thought I would share something that we have here at Engineered Labs that's pretty cool. Long ago, we received authentic coal that was used on the Titanic. The Titanic set sail on April 10th, 1912 with 2,240 passengers and crew on board. This coal was recovered from the real Titanic ship during the 1994 Titanic Research and Recovery Expedition. The Titanic struck an iceberg on April 15th, 1912. This crash caused the Titanic to break apart and sink to the bottom of the ocean, taking the lives of more than 1,500 passengers and crew. I am trying to be extra careful with this since it is such a special piece of history. For that reason, I am not going to be taking it out of this bag. This coal was used to propel the ship by burning it in large furnaces. Over 600 tons of coal was used to propel the ship. Since the ship set sail for four days before it sank, it burned over 2,400 tons of coal. The heat produced by the combustion of the coal was used to convert water into high-pressure steam, which drove the turbines of the ship and propelled it. I can show you these pieces because they haven't been quite as well preserved. As you can see, the texture of the coal is very chalky and comes off in this powder. Coal is made when layers of dirt and rock cover plants for millions and millions of years. When these covered plants are subject to immense heat and pressure, it turns the plants into coal. Coal is made up of a compound of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, and trace amounts of a variety of other elements. Did you know that it takes between 1 billion and 3.3 billion years for pieces of coal like this to turn into diamonds? This original titanic coal that we have received will be added to our heritage collection in the near future. Much like our other pieces, we go to great lengths to take care of our artifacts. The coal will be sealed in resin just like these Roman coins. It will include the name of the artifact and a description like you see here. These coins were created between 300 and 400 AD. They originate from the historic Roman Empire and were used as common currency. Keeping them in resin will keep them perfectly preserved in a way that you can see every angle of them without them being damaged. If you haven't seen our heritage collection, go ahead and click the link in our bio to see even more perfectly preserved history. Thanks for listening today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!